Hello and welcome back to Close to the Sun. Like hell. Okay, painting. Which painting? Uh huh. Air four. This is correct. Eight is earth. Four is air. Eight is earth. Hmm. Oh, great. Come aboard the Helios. We'll get together. We'll have a few laughs. Ugh. Again, the one electron theory. Hmm? Oh. So this is it? This is the research that will allow the letter to go back in time? Hmm. I thought it would be thicker? How's it going? Pretty good. Although, I'm afraid I found an error in your fancy calculations. <laughs> that would be the day. What did you find? Well, you've got massless known vectors intersecting with relativistic spoon dimensions. None of what you just said makes any sense whatsoever. Makes just as much sense to me as this notebook. These equations will allow you to send the letter back in time? Yes, and since you received it, I've technically already done it. Or will do it, depending on how you look at it. Comforting to know that I'll at least live long enough to write it. But the research means so much more. It could do so much more for all of us. Promise me you'll protect it. Promise me. Fine, I mm. promise. But, but, but now what? I've divided the research into two pieces. You only have half of it. I'm on my way to pick up the other half. I'm just gonna go through the bio labs now and we'll... What the... Damn it! Rose, I'm trapped! Rose, I'm trapped in the bio labs! Rose, Hello? Rose, can you hear me? Oops! Ada! I am for sure still in two different times. Well, technically she did send the message in the future. We are in the future in which she sent the message. So Ada, the one we're talking with is that Hello? Ah, our late arrival. A pleasure to finally speak to you, my dear. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Nikola Tesla. I know who you are. Now go away so I can speak to my sister. I am afraid that won't be possible. As I'm sure you are aware, the Helios is under strict quarantine. And for that quarantine to be effective, I cannot have you and lead researcher Archer be opening containment doors all over this ship. The damage already caused is severe. I cannot allow you to make it worse. Therefore, the both of you must remain at your current locations until this situation is resolved. You are locking us up? We will be sitting ducks for whatever is out there. Rest assured that I am doing everything that I can to remedy this situation. Right. How is that working out, huh? A ship full of dead scientists. The great Helios falling apart at the seams. Where's your unlimited energy now? <sighs> Coward. Oh well. Uh, but now we are in the Browns room. 
A Ada, are you okay? Ada. Hey, hi. Me again. Oh. It's you. Great. First I get trapped. Now this. Trapped? You too? Just like me. <laughs> well then, some expert advice. Find a good clean corner that isn't tainted with the stench of death. That's step one. Not the kind of help I was hoping for. So you can get me out? Well, that depends. Where are you? The Alpha Quarter of the Faraday District. Some kind of lockdown gate came down. Can you open it? <coughs> About that. Can I count on you to come and help me out if I do this? My situation is uh, slightly more complicated. Aubrey, the door. Please. Pretty please. Go get your sister, I understand. Family first and all that. But I've got family too, you know. And I'm still trapped. Help me, and I'll help you. Okay, Aubrey. Deal. Help me get to my sister, and we will come to get you too. I promise. Scout's on. Excellent. So I need you to stand away from the lockdown gate while I work my magic. Let me know when you found some decent cover, okay? Sure. Hang on. Woman brutally hacked to death in Whitechapel. Scotland Yard investigating link with previous two murders. Is this the work of a serial killer? Peaceful sheep live happily eating grass, but evil wolves come to hunt the sheep. Fortunately, the sheepdog is there to confront the wolves. Man rewards the sheepdog for fulfilling his duty. I am the sheepdog and I confront the wolves of the world. Oh my goodness, uh, let me read that again. Sheep, wolves, sheepdog, sheepdog, sheepdog. Aye, okay. Conf dog confronts the wolves. Sheep, peaceful. The dog. Okay. Ostrox room. Carl, stay on your guard. This is not like the other cases of blackmailed infiltrators. This may be the real deal. So take precautions, all right? Just verify the information from Whitechapel, and then get out so that we can organize a coordinated arrest. Under no circumstance should you allow yourself to be caught alone with Ostrog. Godspeed, Director Harnesk. Carl Frederick Brown with wife Astrid and young Josephine. You make us so proud, Carl. It's not dead in here, so that's a plus. But give me a moment, I still have a one. Hmm. Uh, Carlucho. Miller. Where is it? Ostrog. Dear John, here aboard the Helios, my inner conflict is finally held at bay, and I'm proud to say that the temptations no longer hold much sway over me. I see the woman, but in my ordered existence aboard the Helios, I can structure my life so that discipline reigns supreme. After the benef and the benefits has overflowed into every other aspect of my life, my research has never been better. 
my hand has never been steadier and my scalpels have never moved as fluidly as they do now. Coming aboard the Helios was the best decision I ever made. So if your Wander Cliff invitation is still on the table, I strongly urge you to accept. The media has never been fair to the Helios endeavor, just like it never was fair to my career in London. We are doing great things here. Great things. I thank you for staying in touch, despite the distance, despite the time, despite all of the previous complications I had to endure. Please, come and visit. There are so many wondrous things I would like to show you. Yours, Ludwig. The River of Time by Ludwig J. Ostrog. We say that we are advancing through time, from the past into the future much as a ship advances through the sea into unknown waters. Sometimes we think of ourselves as stationary, watching time go by as if we would be standing on a bridge watching leaves and sticks float down the stream. Even so alike such leaves and sticks, they approach from the future and momentarily in the present and then recede further and further into the past. But we already know that the time is not a river. Hmm? It seems that this is too big of a obstacle for us to Alright, here we go. Sorry, so sorry. My bad. I might have sent a bit too much juice down the power lines. I'll be back in a minute. Just going to run some diagnostics and high five Benny. I think his arms should still be around here somewhere. Sounds good. Nice work, Aubrey. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, we are out of alpha quarters your time has come it will be all for us See it. Brave road. 
this grave. This symbol again. Shit! Where do I go? Run! Just run! God damn it, Aubrey! I've got it! At the far end of the base station! The far end! The last way card! Jump into the last card at the far end of the station! Go! Hey, it's Aubrey. Anything from your sister yet? No. I'm worried. She should have radioed in by now. The lockdown is likely blocking her ability to transmit. She's probably fine. So, is now a good time to ask how Ludwig knows your name? Maybe he mistook me for someone else. I'd rather not think about it. Still, he didn't know your name, so he must be somewhat aware of what is. Uh, Aubrey, help! I'm on it! Sit tight! Still moving, Aubrey. Stop the cart! I'm trying! I'm trying! Aubrey? Aubrey! Again, this symbol. Jump! Jump, Rose! Oh. <laughs> I think I jumped wrong. Yeah, bear back. Moving, Aubrey! Stop okay, the car! We're back I'm here. trying! I'm trying! And now I know what to jump. Literally when... Aubrey! Tells us to jump. Look, jump! Not here! Jump, Rose! Not here. Over here! Oh! Ah! Rose! Are you okay, Rose? That... That was close. Oh, thank God! Thank God! Thanks, Aubrey. That could have gone bad. A second later, and... Yeah. Hmm. It's always a symbol. So, where am I? I've got some good news! And some bad news. What do you want first? Bad news first. Always. Okay, well, I thought I would be able to take you all the way to your sister in the Bible Labs, but that obviously won't happen. The good news is I know exactly where you need to go to get there. Also, I can provide you with this. Thank you. A light at the end of the tunnel! <laughs> you get it. A light at the... <laughs> anyway, just follow the tunnel until you reach the station up ahead. That sounds easy enough. I will go towards the light. Ha! <laughs> Great. I'm going to fix a few things here on my end. I'll check back in a bit. See, Benny? I told you she'd get it. Go towards the light. Ha! 
that were just in the water one minute ago. I need to check if there's anything up here. you can sprint when you have to. Still would love to have a flashlight. Rose, you made it! Aubrey! Yeah, I'm at the station. Where do I go from here? You're at the tech names. I've already rerouted power to the section you're about to enter. I took the liberty of overloading a few select doors to help guide you towards the biolabs. Simply go with the flow, but bear in mind that I couldn't get them all, so watch your step. Okay. Anything else I should know about this place? Well, it's probably not going to be pretty, so you know, hold your nose. Then he smelled while he was alive, but let me tell you, decomposing flesh has a poignant odor all of its own. Isn't that right, Benny? Yeah? He's like a tulip of death. That's kind of morbid. You sure you're okay, Aubrey? I'm using my best friend's dismembered arm as a back scratcher. Of course I'm not okay. Just continue through the tech labs. I'll be back in a bit. Department of Technology, Rail Division. Frank, what the hell? Cards 42, 12, and 77 are accidents just waiting to happen. Hardware failures range from cracked brake plates to unmatched door hinges. Have you been drinking again? Be in my office at 10.30 tomorrow. If you show up drunk, I'll drown you myself. And don't protect you. Arthur Harris. Just go with the flow. Oh. So there is a fast way <laughs> Okay. Oh, something is happening. Rainless lightning storm is blamed on Tesla's weather tech. Seven thunder and lightning fill days without rain. Weather experts unable to explain phenomenon. Speculations of Wardenclyffe involvement from Pond. Demonstrations outside Wardenclyffe headquarters take a violent turn. Wardenclyffe employees called in for extra, extra shift work. Okay. And I think I'm gonna end this part here. So, for now... Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!